And Joaquin, Miss Phoenix, and And Ms. Mara right here the front of the Rooney, on your back! Straight ahead, honey, straight ahead. And Ms. Mara right here? And Rooney, just sure right here. Zazie, right there! Zazie, just on the E. On the C. Zazie, right here, the front of the dress! And Zazie, Zazie, the front of the dress! Zazie, just right up on the dress! The beautiful smile this way! Zazie, you just got the front. I want I heart in there. And Miss Conroy? And can we get the chip? Mark! I'm Mr. Marin. <laughs> and Brett, Brett, one more smile right here, please. Go ahead, right back here. Nice smile there, young man. Looking good. Thanks, Ranahan. Francis, Joaquin, everyone. And Mr. Phillips, Mr. and Mrs. Phillips, Todd, the two of you here. And then to your right. And to your right in the seven. It was a pretty unique experience. Um, I think it was a really strong, solid script that was amazing. And then I think he had the confidence to try and explore things that may not have been on the page. And more often than not, what you see is what was in the script. 
but we still have the opportunity to explore um, new ideas every day and just to try to uncover more colors that maybe we hadn't anticipated. Hilder's an amazing composer and um, Todd and I were working on a scene one day and we didn't really know what it was going to be but we thought it required some kind of movement that it was a, a non-verbal expression of the transformation of Arthur to Joker and he started playing a piece of score from Hilda that he had, had gotten a couple nights before and it was mournful and beautiful and it felt transformative to me and um, really that just inspired the movement to be honest and we hadn't really planned on what we were going to do and we just started shooting. I don't know that it was important, I just thought it was a really interesting approach to, to, to sort of do a deep dive character study into a, into a villain and sort of try and explain uh, how he became who he is. For me, working with Robert De Niro is a dream. I think he's literally the greatest of all time. I'm a huge fan of his as any filmmaker is. He's, he's um, so many performances that shaped me and my filmmaking. Uh, so to get Bob to do the movie was, uh, I was I was nervous at approaching him, and I had a great meeting with him, a couple meetings. He read the script, and uh, you know it's it's hard to explain how additive a, a certain actor can be to a part. Uh, but a guy like Robert De Niro or Joaquin Phoenix, they elevate it in such a way that it's it's almost hard to quantify. And the visuals in the movie were something you know we were looking at. Again, it's a, it's a throwback, the movie, to the kind of films that I grew up loving. And so a lot of the movies from the mid-70s to the early 80s, these sort of character studies that this is clearly inspired by, whether it's Taxi Driver, Network, King of Comedy, uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Dog Day Afternoon, these are movies that I grew up loving and thought, why can't you do a movie like that now? When you make a movie about one person, which essentially this is, it's a movie about Joker, Joaquin Phoenix, he's in every frame of the movie essentially, other things become characters in the film. The locations and the score and the costumes. So the score for me was a, a, a way to really convey emotion and really, I think Hilder Gudenitor, who did the, is the composer, did something really bold and beautiful and it really stands out and uh, she just kept giving us stuff that I mean there's got to be I don't remember the number but it's like an hour and 20 minutes of score in this film there's a million ways to view this movie and and depending on what lens you view it through depends on your experience and so I hate to tell them what to feel from the movie uh, I just think you go in with an open mind and um, you'll take with it what you take from it I feel like this film feels uh, very honest and very human, and um, I enjoy, I like picking projects that kind of touch on complexity within our souls and within um, just the existence of life, and I feel like this movie really delves into that um, and exploring the gray and not necessarily uh, sort of the binary of day-to-day -day okay. existence. <laughs> I think Joaquin as a performer is very playful and he loves to explore. At least on this set he was constantly finding new things and I think the Joker, when he becomes the Joker is inherently sort of this playful person um, or creature almost and um, I think Joaquin brings a lot of that while also bringing a lot of humanity to a role that I think we would usually kind of keep at arm's length um, and so yeah I think he brings a lot of soul to it. Todd was lovely he's an incredibly collaborative director I feel like with everyone uh, on set he was constantly kind of checking in and seeing where we were at and uh, morphing the story as we were going but included at least I can talk about myself included me in a lot of that and um, you know it's it's flattering and lovely and I feel trusted when I'm included in that conversation and I really appreciated that Todd uh, let me be a part of the story building 
It was very um, fluid, it was very moment to moment, very private, um, very much improvisational. I'm just staggered by the beauty of the film, everything that Todd did, the music, everything, the color of it, everything that Joaquin did. It's, it's a magnificent piece of work. The fans are going to be riveted. Very intense, very moving, very uh, exciting, menacing uh, bit of cinema here. Well, he goes pretty deep. So this guy, the Joker, if you're going to go deep with it, as we've seen some other actors do in their own way, it almost becomes sort of like a, with some of these comic book characters, I think it's almost Shakespearean in that, you know, several actors can try it or take it on and kind of do their own interpretations of it. But he's very, you know, he goes all in. So you're going to see whatever that yields. I think it's, it's, it's very dramatic. It's so different to any other comic book movie I've ever seen. Anyway, I actually only saw it the first time on Wednesday. And uh, I took my parents along. They loved it. And uh, yeah, there's some great characters, but Joaquin is just phenomenal. I've never seen anything like it. I think he just throws himself into a role more than anyone I've ever seen. And uh, yeah, it's uh, quite gut wrenching at moments, and uh, it's just so so believable. It's uh, yeah, and I think the fact that it's set in reality helps it stand out amongst a lot of other comic book movies. So. Oh wow, Todd is cool. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I flew over to meet him uh, before I got the part, and uh, instantly it was just a, the sort of guy I wanted to work with. He's he's great. He, he keeps it very free on set. He lets you. Um, there's a lot of improvisation, and um, he gets the actors on the set and lets you play around first, like just him and the actors. And, it's quite a creative process. It was, it was great fun. He embodies the skin of that guy. I mean, you go to work in the morning. He's very nice. We say hello in the morning and we say good night at night. But once he gets in those clothes and comes out of his trailer, he's Arthur Fleck. It was impressive to watch, and I can't wait for the audiences to see his work because I think the and I and Todd obviously has an amazing vision of this character and the story itself so and also getting to play the richest man in Gotham was fun <laughs> I love working with Todd I mean I had a I mean he was really gracious to me I mean I was when I met him I was working on True Detective and he was like well say hello to Nick for me and then you know I got the part and then I showed up and it was just about the work you know, I mean, he's he's a consummate professional. When I showed up initially in New York and I was just doing wardrobe, he brought me to the set and he goes, watch this. He made me watch Joaquin. And I said, yeah, that's, that's deep. Well, first of all, he's one of our greatest actors, so that helps. And um, he brings an incredible vulnerability and a lot of pain in all of his work throughout his career and certainly here. Um, was no exception. I loved working with Todd. Todd came full of energy every day and he worked very hard to put the script together and to get Joaquin to commit to it and he was so excited about what Joaquin was doing and uh, from my perspective playing Randall in the film he, um, he was extremely collaborative and uh, he not only gave me a lot of great direction um, and feedback but he also took suggestions from me and we bounced off each other really well I thought so every day was something new and every take was something new well I hope they have a great time and I hope that uh, that it moves them and that you know they they think about our, our world we hold the mirror up to nature so you know I hope that uh, they see society as as it is now even though we're looking back uh, into the early 80s. I'll tell you, it's the best script I've ever read. Working with Joaquin was, I mean, that's why I wanted to do the movie. He's so in it, and it's really what the art form is about. And it's, from reading the script, it's like an amazing cautionary tale. From The Hangover to this, I feel like it, it he 
upped his game and took it to another level of kind of masterful filmmaking. So I feel like everybody involved brought their best game. And just Joaquin's focus on the set just brought the whole crew, everybody was like, we're in this, we're, everybody's going to do their best possible job. His embodiment of a character, you know, kind of brings this iconic character to life in a way that we've never seen. Hopefully they have a really immersive, emotional experience. The movie's complex in a way that I love, because I like movies that are provoking and, and make me feel something and make me think afterwards, so I hope they think about it. I know every time I've seen it, I've obviously had to deal with it through all the post-production. When it's over, I'm always feeling like a bunch of different emotional things, and, and so I hope they feel the same, and I think it's like, um, I hope they, they, they feel like they, they witnessed a piece of art. This is our sixth film together, Todd and I, so he brings so much talent and so much vision that I've seen through all of our films, but I think uh, this movie proves that he's a filmmaker to be reckoned with. He's amazingly flexible, he's, he, he really understands actors, he's a fantastic writer, and I think he brought a vision to this movie that's unlike any other comic book movie we've seen before. It was a deep dive into a character study of an incredibly complex character um, and, and, and an original take on the, on the Joker, which I think is really exciting and, and cool. Futureprevews.com. Go behind the scenes of movies. Subscribe to Future Flicks YouTube channel.